Hiya fishy folks and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Today's video, feeding your fish frozen food. Say that three times fast. All right, fishy folks, welcome back. Before we get started, if you could just do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, and of course the notification bell, I'd really appreciate it. <clears throat> so today we're gonna be talking about feeding frozen food to your fish, and uh, there's many different kinds of frozen food. There's, you know, blood worms, brine shrimp, cyclops, mysis, daphnia, with spirulina, without spirulina, different kinds. Of course, there's different uh, companies that make it, and I find different quality. Now, you know, a little disclaimer, this is what works for me in my fish room. Take it for what it's worth. Hopefully you'll learn something. So today we're gonna be talking about uh, frozen blood worms, and this is the Hakari brand. This is a one pound flat pack. It's the most economical for me to feed my 60 breeding for profit tanks here. Now the thing about blood worms is, um, it's not super healthy for fish in general, but the Hakari brand does add vitamins and minerals, which does help make it healthy. Uh, another thing about blood worms is it's like a proven fact that 99% of all fish will eat blood worms. So if you have that fish that you just, you know, uh, bought and is not eating and you think there's a big problem, try some frozen blood worms. Like I said, in 99% of the cases, it will eat the frozen blood worms. The other thing we're going to be feeding today is frozen cyclops. Now, I like the frozen cyclops because it's uh, very small. It's great for newborn fry, whether it's a live bear fry like I have guppies or uh, even plecos will eat it if they're omnivores. And uh, small uh, um, cichlids like angelfish fry, they'll eat the frozen cyclops. It's small enough for them to eat. It's about the same size as baby brine shrimp. Now the Cyclops, uh, th these are 35 cubes, and um, I'll show you how I feed them, uh, how I go about defrosting them and feed them in a minute, but this is great if you have a community tank, um, you know, medium to large size, one cube will probably do you. If not, you're gonna have to cut the cube. What I like to do when I only had uh, one or two tanks is I take a cube, I take a razor blade, and I cut the cube in half, put the cube back in the freezer, the half cube back in the freezer, and then the other half I feed to my tank. So you can feed frozen food directly to your tank if you want. Um, the temperature drop is gonna be minimal, if any, and it's kinda neat to watch the fish, you know, pick at the food and, and the, the particles come off. Or what I normally do is I take a deli cup. You know, I love the deli cups. Link down below in the description if you need deli cups for the fridge or the fish room or the kitchen. Uh, but I take some tank water, or I take uh, treated water without chlorine, and we fill it up, we put the frozen food in there, we wait, and when it's defrosted, we feed it. And that's what I'm gonna do now. So, refill your healthy snack and beverage. I know I didn't tell you to get one, but hopefully by now you know. And stand by. All right, fishy folks. First, we'll take care of the, uh, the blood worms. Again, I like the Hikari brand. Um, it does come in cubes as well. If, like I said, if you uh, don't have a lot of room in your freezer or that's what you wanna feed the cube because it's easier for you. I happen to like the flat pat. Um, so we take a, a, a section out, it almost fell, and then we just drop it in our deli cup filled with dechlorinated water. Now, another caution about frozen blood worms, I guess any blood worms, uh, they have a large or a high a higher than normal probability of people being allergic to them. I know that sounds weird. Same thing with cinnamon, in case you didn't know that. Uh, like 50% of the people in the world have some allergic reaction to cinnamon. I don't know what it is for bloodworms, but I know a lot of people say uh, they're allergic to bloodworms, so they have to wear gloves if they decide to feed that to their fish, and that's fine. So we'll just let this sit. Uh, you know, these are starting to defrost a little bit, so. Um, you can refreeze them, it's not the best for them, but you can, in this case, I'm making a video, it happens. Um, so these will defrost, it'll take, I don't know, five, six minutes for them to defrost, and uh, then we'll feed them to the tank. Again, when it comes to blood worms specifically, it's not something I would feed every day, or even every other day. Uh, I would do it a few times a week at most. Some people say it's a treat for the fish. I don't necessarily know that fish need treats, um, but, 
The nutritional value is minimal and they're kind of high in fat, um, but the Hokkari brand, like I said, adds vitamins and minerals. In fact, if I could read blood worms, water, vitamin B supplement, some things I can't, a lot of supplements I can't, I can't pronounce, but <clears throat> there's a big, with vitamin C, so that's gotta be good for them in case they get a cold or something. All right, folks, I'm gonna move the camera and uh, we're gonna feed some frozen blood worms to a tank. What tank should we feed them to? Let me know down in the comments below which strain of guppy you think I should feed these to. Or maybe I should feed them to a lot of strains. Stand by. All right, fishy folks, we're here in front of the purple Dumbo tank. Uh, these guys are gonna be up on the website hopefully this weekend, so check out michaelsfishroom.com uh, to see if they're there. And of course, we will be shipping uh, this week as well. So, uh, all right, it's been about five minutes and everything's defrosted quite nicely. We're going to drop some blood worms into the water and you can see the fish start to devour it, right? Now, a lot of that was water, so we're gonna add some more. Again, you're not gonna wanna feed this every day to your fish. Uh, however, as a treat, not really a treat, you know, as a supplement every, I don't know, five or six days, certainly not a problem. Now let's just move the camera a little bit over this way so you can see I'll feed the red cobras now. And they're gonna love it and eat it. Hopefully you can see that okay. I'm actually gonna move the camera and we're gonna feed another strain of guppies. I think we'll go with the red cobras. I'm sorry, I just fed the red cobras. We're gonna go with the red dragons behind me. Here we go. All right, fishy folks, this tank has uh, red dragons and uh, lemon blue eye plecos. The plecos will be enjoying some blood worms if they make it to the bottom, which they will. Uh, not too many red dragons left. Uh, probably the, the hottest seller on the website right now are these red dragons. Uh, they are spectacular and uh, very healthy and very prolific, actually. I have a breeding set set up in another tank, uh, which I'll show you maybe another time. But look at them devouring the blood worms. All right, fishy folks, now I will show you how I feed frozen cyclops. Stand by. All right, fishy folks, I said you can feed frozen bloodworms directly to a tank, and you can, and it is kind of fun to watch the fish. So let's just watch and see what happens. All right, fishy folks, that was frozen blood worms. Now we're gonna talk about frozen cyclops. Now, I've never seen a flat pack of cyclops. I've only seen the flat packs of blood worms and um, brine shrimp. They might make something else, but that's all I've ever seen, so. So these are 35 individual cubes. What I do is I simply pop a cube out into, uh, or a couple of cubes in this case, into a uh, deli cup full of uh, water which has either been treated or it's from your tank. And uh, then I let it defrost. And then I either take a little pipette, that's the pipette noise, uh, or I just pour it in like I did the blood worm. So we're gonna let this defrost, shouldn't take too long, the water's warm, it's from my auto water change system. And then I'll show you how to feed it. Stand by. All right, fishy folks, here we are in front of the Tuxedo Koi tank, probably my favorite guppy in the world right now. I just love how cute their little orange faces are. And a big shout out to Guppy Boy. Uh, guppy Boy uh, messaged me and said I had a blue tuxedo or some sort of blue fish in this tank. 
And sure enough, there was a blue Moscow in this tank. I'm actually seeing new fry in this tank today, which I hadn't noticed before. Excuse the sump pump. Uh, so, like I said before, you can either pour your Cyclops directly in a tank like this, or you can take a pipette, which I'll put a link down in the description below for these as well. It's a good thing to have in the fish room. You just fill it up like this, and then, and you got to make that noise when you squeeze it in. And you can see the guppies are going insane for this. While I'm here, I'm gonna take a squirt into the uh, purple grass tank and a squirt next to this into the dark dragon tank. And of course, a squirt up top to the, uh, I don't remember what they're called because I haven't labeled them, and a squirt in the half black red rose tank. All right, fishy folks. The next thing I do want to show you is feeding a cube, a frozen Cyclops cube to your fish tank. Stand by. All right, fishy folks. These are the blue Moscows. They are finally done with quarantine. There are quite a few frying here as well. I'm going to take the frozen Cyclops cube, drop it in, and let's see what happens. Fishy folks, I hope you enjoyed the video and you learned something. Just a few more tips and tricks and facts about frozen fish food. It'll last up to six months in your freezer as long as it stays frozen. Once it's defrosted, I would try to feed it if you can. You certainly can refreeze it, but just like food for human consumption, it may lose some taste and some nutritional value. Speaking of nutritional value, frozen bloodworms themselves are meh when it comes to uh, nutrition. The Hakari brand does add vitamins and minerals, which certainly helps. I wouldn't feed frozen bloodworms, I don't know, three, four times a week at most, uh, maybe even less for some, some fish. Uh, frozen Cyclops, you can feed every day if you wanted to. It's, it's good for, the, it's really good for your fish. It's great for fry, whether it's live bear fry or um, cichlid fry, angels. I used to feed it to my angel fry when I, I wasn't hatching brine shrimp. Speaking of brine shrimp, frozen brine shrimp is, is very good as well. I just don't do it anymore, like I said, because I've been uh, hatching my own baby brine shrimp using those Zitz hatcheries. I have two now. Thank you to Aquarium Co-op for supplying those to Michael's Fish Room. All right, folks, that does it for the video. Let me know down in the comments below what frozen food you feed your fish and enjoy the bloopers. There is a poop ton of them. Taco. We all love taco. Um, and over the years of me breeding fish, this is what works for me. This is what I've developed uh, for me. If it doesn't work for you, that's fine. I just want to go over that. I keep rambling. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Take 99. We're going to go with the uh, red dragons behind me. And with a flick of a thingy. Uh, you can also buy the frozen... I should... I should... Yeah. Hiya fishy folks and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Today's video, feeding your fish frozen fish food. Grab your health ahead. Grab your health. All right, fishy folks, welcome back. Before we get started, if you could just do me a ginormous favor, hit that subscribe button and of course, uh, the notif- notif- Notification bell. Hmm. <clears throat> All right, fishy folks, welcome back. Before we get started, if you could just do me a favor, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already, and of course, the notification bell, so you know if I go live or release a new video. So today we're gonna to be talking about feeding frozen food to your fish tanks. Not your fish tanks. You're feeding fish in the tank. 
So let's talk about Cyclops again. Like, really small and tiny, pretty nutritious. Um, I like uh, the Frozen uh, because I don't know why. 